We're on our way to. Are you recording now? Yeah. <laughs> We're on our way to. Coney Island. Coney Island. Coney Island. Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Country. <laughs> no money. <laughs> he doesn't speak very good English, so like, we'll see you guys there. So Cyclone has a classical wooden framework to it, so unlike the metal rides like nowadays, you get this really lightweight feel when you're riding on it. That's what she said! <laughs> it was definitely my favourite ride at the Coney Island Park and definitely worth trying if you're there. So the parachute jump was part of the original Coney Island Park which unfortunately didn't come back to life with the others in 2010, but they did use it in the 1930s to train parachutes to jump from there rather than from aircrafts. So I was looking forward to trying Nathan's infamous hot dog, which has been around since 1916, but for what used to be 10 cents, they were charging, I think, just under $6 for an average size hot dog. So in true Tamil and Bengali style, we got a chili mango, which was a mess to eat, and then we picked up some ice cream. So other than the rides, they've actually got a few really fun activities. So they've got bumper cars, they actually had go-karting which wasn't available when we went. And they've also got this really cool 3D immersive shooting game, which was honestly one of the best ones I've done. Of course I won. <laughs> so the ticketing's a bit weird, so there's two sides of the park. There's Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park and then there's the Lunar Park. So you can buy a batch of tickets for a certain side of the park, but that doesn't cover you for both. So Cyclone was on the other park, whereas the Wonder Wheel and a few of the other rides were on the first half. Now if you are looking to go and you want to find out more about the ticketing prices and everything then of course check the website but also I've linked below this blog by Ayana is a really good summary of the Lunar Park and what you're getting into if you are going. Overall Coney Island was such a great day out. I'd say if you've got a day spare in your time in New York definitely check it out and it's crazy that it's only just over an hour from the crazy busy city centre. Now I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's been supporting especially on that first video Please let me know what you guys want to hear next, what you want to see. Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.